are, Loop. I know you are too, right? <laughs> oh, we're tired of talking about rain, period, right? We need a little dry stretch, and we do have some coming up for you, but the showers, the thunderstorms are really getting going right now for you over areas of the eastern triad. We've had a couple of storms pop to severe levels, and that's about it so far, but we may see one or two more over Randolph County and then Burlington, too. You can see back to the west, a couple stragglers here, showers lifting over the Blue Ridge Parkway and back into the western foothills, but this is the real action right now. The energy is right over areas of southern Alamance County. We've got lots of lightning with us, and the Rainfall rates are almost two inches per hour in these zones, so we may expect to see some localized flooding or flash flood warnings issued. We're watching for that, of course, with severe thunderstorm risk area still in place for most of the northern Piedmont all the way up to central Virginia, down south into South Carolina. Risk for flash flooding remains high after several days now that we've seen heavy rainfall. Damaging winds, of course, would be the next on the list. Low risk for isolated tornadoes at this point. We've got lots of action, though, over the east right now. Snow camp getting hit with showers and thunderstorms and a couple showers in southern Allegheny County right now. We watched earlier as Bertha rolled out and continued its track up into the northeast. For now, our risk tomorrow begins to build back into the tribe, and the greater risk area is going to be over central parts of Pennsylvania and western New York. We see risk areas starting to drop off, though, for the weekend, so we do see a gradual decrease in the thunderstorm activity as we head into late Saturday. Right now, though, showers are out to the east in the tribe. We've got you at 69 degrees tomorrow morning, 76 through about 9 a.m., and as we go through middle part of the day on your Friday, Rain chances start to come up. You're going to see more clouds fill in. You might even have more sunshine from time to time in the morning and then clouds with thunderstorms likely late afternoon. Again, widely scattered, so not everyone gets the rain, but if you do, we still have a risk of that flash flooding. 66 in the foothills will take you to 76 at lunchtime and a rain chance of 50% near 81. At 61 degrees in the mountains, we'll warm you to about 75 for late afternoon with a rain chance of 70%. So a little bit better focus of the showers and storms over the mountains tomorrow, and that does pose a problem for some of our rivers. We've already got you under minor flooding expected for the Yakin throughout late tomorrow afternoon. We'll expect it to crest around 24 feet, almost 25 feet there. And after all that rainfall within the last two days, look at this 1.72 in Winston-Salem and Greensboro. Burlington didn't go get quite as much. Bertha kind of just nudged in here and moved into the western foothills, and it helped to bring in more than two inch totals from Tobaccoville through Stanleyville, Mount Air. And look at this in Ennis, up in the mountains, 4.32 inches from William Bottomley. We also heard from Wilkesboro with more than two inches, and I just heard from Joan and Mickey Rogers, almost two inches for them up in Lawsonville in northern Stokes County. You can see here showers and thunderstorms, an hour-by-hour -hour forecast bringing in a few more storms tonight. But our focus so far has been in the southeastern triad. We're going to take you through the day on Friday with limited activity until we get you into the heat of the afternoon. By midday, we might see one or two storms beginning to pop in the mountains and western foothills. More action developing through late afternoon around 3 o'clock and into the afternoon hours from 4 to 5. We could see a few more rounds, and this is where we could see those strong to severe thunderstorms. So keep your uh, eyes to the sky, and remember, if you hear thunder, you need to get indoors. A lot of folks enjoying biking out there over the last couple of days and weeks as we've had some sunshine. You're going to have a good chance to do that after we get you through the severe risk areas. Right now you're at 81 degrees in Winston-Salem, 82 in Greensboro. Had lots of high temperatures today in the 80s. We've got more 80s on the way before we eventually cool you down, but 84 tomorrow with a rain chance of 50%. Here's your seven day forecast. We see 82 degrees on your Saturday and your rain chances drop off. Nice 70s to take you through next week with 76 on Sunday and a lot less humid. We'll have much more throughout the late evening hours and track these storms. All right, thank you so much.